Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to decrypt Wi-Fi handshakes with your graphics card. Now, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to capture these handshakes as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps out a ton. And we are very, very close to 1,000 subscribers. Okay, so you guys are going to need two different things. One, you're going to need to have Linux. And then, you, of course, you got to have Windows to use your graphics card. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to log into our Linux server so we can use Linux from our Windows. Okay, as soon as we have Linux here, we can go ahead and we can install our tools. Now, this should be the same if you're on Kali or if you're on Parrot. Right now, I'm running Ubuntu, so it really depends. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to update our sources. So to this, you can type sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade just like that and now I'm not gonna run this because this will take a really long time for me and I don't feel like updating it today but it's good practice that you should so we're gonna get rid of that and to install HX dump tool you type sudo apt and I would be doing a user installation so that's why then install HX dump tool you just press enter and you enter in your sudo password there we go and it's going to it should take some time but it's gonna go ahead and connect to Ubuntu and it's going to download the correct things. Okay, now it should be installed. Okay, now the next thing we need to install is the HCX tools. So this is the other tools that we can use to convert our encryption to other encryptions. So it's just sudo apt-y install HCX tools. I just press on enter and it should go ahead and fetch all this. Now once again, depending on your Wi-Fi, it might take a little bit longer. For me, that was actually really quick. So, now that we have that, let's go ahead and we're gonna put our Wi-Fi card into monitor mode. So monitor mode allows us to capture and send out packets at, you know, whatever we want to. It allows us to use our Wi-Fi card a lot more than you would normally would if it's in managed mode. So now not all Wi-Fi cards support this. So it's only just a few. So just make sure that your Wi-Fi card does support monitor mode and packet injection before you try this. So I mean, either way, if it doesn't, then it's, it's not really going to do anything, but still. So what we're going to do here is we're going to stop the network manager service. So sudo systemctl stop network manager. All right. And then we're going to stop the Wi-Fi supplicant. So both, so both of these processes should be cleared just so that there's no interference. Because sometimes the uh, WPA supplicant might put your card back into managed mode, and then you can't capture anything if it's in managed mode. So, so let's go ahead and clear the screen. Oh, and by disabling Network Manager and the WPA supplicant, this will temporarily disrupt your internet. So, okay, so let's go and check and see what Wi-Fi card that we do have. So to do this, we can type IF config and we should see here this is going to be the card that I'm using here the WLX and normally it would be like something like WLAN 0 or it could be something like that for you so let's go ahead and we're going to start that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to type sudo hcx dump tool dash i and the i is for interface uh, if you have a WLAN 0 card then you put WLAN 0 and if it's WLAN 1, then WLAN 1. But for me, I'm going to be using this one here. And I'm, we're going to specify our output file. So let's do hash dot, I don't know, pcap ng. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. And we can do, why don't we do status 15? So now, status 15 is going to show us, like, it's going to show us what it's doing. Just so we know it's working and it's not silent. And then we can do active beacon as well. So it'll be looking for active beacons. So we'll just hit enter. And there we go. It's just a start capturing packets. So now just give it some time. Let it go ahead and capture things. It might um, it's best to let it run for a couple minutes, maybe like 10 or 15. And let's let's see what happens. Okay, so after you let it run for a bit. What we're going to do here is, if you guys don't see the name of your target in any of these 
uh, just in any of the output, then you may want to give it some more time. Uh, if you do, however, we can go ahead and move on. So let's go ahead and we'll clear our screen. And if we type ls, we should see we have here hash.pcapng. Okay, so as soon as we see that, we can type here hcxpcapng tool. Then we can do dash o from the output. And we're going to do output. Dot, and then we'll do hc22000. So now this is a crackable format that Hashcat can crack. Hashcat cannot crack WPA handshakes normally. So we have to convert it from a PCAP NG to a HC22000. Then we'll do dash E for the ESID list. Uh, I guess we'll call it SSID list. How about that? And we can do hash dot PCAP NG. And this is going to be uh, that's going to be our captured file here. So I'll press enter. And we should see we get some info about it here. Great, so we can go ahead and clear our screen once more. And now we have here the SSID list. So let's go ahead and let's see what's inside. So if we CAD it, we can see what it's captured. So now I am going to be targeting this one here on the bottom. So, and YouTube, I own this network myself. So, please don't strike so we'll go ahead we want to go ahead and we're going to edit that hc220 hash because if you don't remove the hash that we've captured then what's going to happen is hashcat's going to try to process every one of those and we're only targeting one we're not targeting them all so what we're going to do here is we can go ahead and type cat and then we can do output dot hc22000 and we can see what's inside here. So I should have mentioned before, uh, when you're looking at the output of your of the sorry, when you're looking at the output of the HCX dump tool, sometimes it will give out the BSI BSSID. And so if you save that, we can go ahead and look through these. It's called the EA pool handshake. So I already saved mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type cat output hc2200. And let's see which one that is here. And I'll pipe this to grep. And I'll put the name of it in. And it looks like it's in here. So it is the second one. So what we're going to do is we're going to type nano. And we can do output that hc22000. And see, when we're in nano here, now we can see which one is which. And so it's the bottom, so I'll delete everything from the top row. So we can go ahead and we'll save this and then clear the screen. Now we're going to have to transfer this handshake from your Linux server over to Windows. Okay, now as soon as you guys have transferred your HC22000 file over to your Windows PC, we can go ahead and start cracking with our graphics card. Okay, so to do this here, we're gonna need a couple things. Of course, you're gonna need a graphics card. I have a 3080 in my build. Um, you know, I got I got some pretty good specs, but depending on your graphics card speed, things might be really fast or they might be really slow. So we're gonna need a graphics card, and we're gonna need a word list, and we need to have Hashcat. So go ahead, and we're going to open a command prompt wherever Hashcat is stored. Okay. Once you guys have Hashcat on your PC, we can go ahead and type this command here. So it's hashcat.exe-m, and we're going to specify 22,000. So 22,000 is the type of encryption. And then we're going to do wherever we keep our output. So for me, it's in the downloads folder. So I'll go ahead and put that in. All right, and we can go ahead and drop that in. There we go. And we just hit enter. Now it should say starting. So I don't have the CUDA SDK installed. This is why we have this yellow here. But I would recommend that you guys install that as it really does impact your computer's performance and it really helps it complete this really quickly. Okay, so I accidentally went ahead and cleared the screen. But you should see up in the corner here, it should say status cracked. Now for me, while I was talking, it already cracked. 
which was insane. Only took just a couple seconds. Now normally and realistically, it should take it could take hours, it could take days, maybe months. It all depends on how big the password is or how fast your graphics card is and all that. So we can go ahead and run the same command and this time we'll do dash dash show. And we can go ahead and see that we've got the SSID here, some info, and we've got the name, and we have our password here. So this is very, very good. Now usually the password's at the end. Now you can go ahead and you know, log into the router now or do whatever you're going to do, but realistically it shouldn't be this quick. It might take, you know, it, it, will, it will take a while. So I know this tutorial was a little bit hard to, to follow. But if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helps out a ton. And with that said, all the commands will be in the description as well. And have a good day. See y'all.